Number eight then, from the 2016 New Hand Maths Paper 1, five marks. Show that this line is a tangent to this circle and find the point of contact. That's nice and straightforward. We'll just substitute it in. I'll just give them names so I can refer to them later. So if I'm looking to check if it is a tangent, I want to check if it cuts once, if it intersects once. So I'll substitute 1 in 2. And when I do that, I'll have x squared plus, instead of y, it will be 3x minus 5 squared, plus 2x minus 4 times. Instead of y, it will be 3x minus 5, minus 5 equals 0. Expand that out, I'll just give it a little bit more room. So squaring the first, 3x times 3x would be 9x squared. Twice the, pro the product is minus 15, double it will be minus 30x. Square the last, plus 25. Minus 4 times 3 is minus 12x, but plus 20, and then minus the 5 is 0. Gather it all up into your little quadratic, 10. Now, if it is a tangent, you know you're looking for a perfect square. So I want 10s in the rest of it. So I've got minus 30, and that's a minus 10, so that's minus 40x. And then I've got 25, take away that 5 is 20, and 20 is 40. There you go. All working out nicely. Then this little issue of what we do with the 10. Well, quite simply, you can divide both sides by 10. There's nothing wrong with that because I don't want to maintain the value of this. So x squared minus 4x plus 4 would equal 0. So you can put a wee note at the side, divide by 10 if you like. Factorise it. Must be the same number. Multiply to get 4 and add to get 4, that's 2 and 2, and that says that's negative, that says they're both negative, and there you are, equal roots, and that's the statement, you have to make some sort of statement. There's nothing wrong with the statement, only one solution, so there's only one, one point of intersection, so it's a tangent, but they seem to like equal roots, just in case you've taken the discriminant root from here, and then said equal roots, and then gone on through it. Equal roots means that line 1 is a tangent. I could even say to 2. And continue and finish it off. That means x equals 2. And using number 1, that means that y would equal 3 times the 2 minus 5. y would equal 6 minus 5, which is 1. So where's that point of tangency? The point's going to be, or I could say the tangent point is the point, 2, 1.